Have you received landing details from Axi One's air control? Affirmative. Did you put those coordinates into the landing tracker? Roger that. And did you unlock the cargo release valve? Yes, ma'am. I know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. I'm just checking. Here we go. We're about to land. Your time to shine, Henry. Watch out for the asteroid. Not so fast. Mom, I've got this. What's up everybody? Henry Moe's and the Wormhole Conspiracy is a point and click adventure game that I have been waiting to come out and it's finally arrived. Developed by Bad Goat Studios, you play as Henry Moe's, a 15 year old boy working in his family's delivery business who really just wants to set out on an adventure. His mother Serene is sent a space fax to fly to a world in the far star universe. Not wanting to miss an adventure, Henry sneaks aboard the ship and finds himself on planet Cuckoo, a planet built by the nefarious wormhole industries. Something's amiss when Henry finds his mother about to sign some paperwork and then is confronted by a mysterious hologram figure that puts Henry directly in the crosshairs of one of the most dangerous men known in the two galaxies, Benedict Wormhole. Henry Moe's and the Wormhole Conspiracy has a large dose of love that's put into this game, with its cute 2D drawn art style, giving it an old school feel with its cartoon-like qualities. Most characters are given the right amount of detail, but the background falls short for me with a lot of empty spaces. The backgrounds were a big plus in the previous point and click game that I reviewed in Codia with its high detailed backgrounds that are astonishing. But Henry Moe's makes up for this in many ways. One of my favorite things are the references they put in the game. Oh yeah, pump it. Even the fuel pumps are great. The Dead Star from Blast Stellara number 635. A classic. The Microsurf Model 8. When you need food fast. Mostly radiation free. They added so much charm right off the bat of the game that it really kept a smile on my face for most of the game. A good bit of the writing is also well flushed out and kept my interest. There are some low points in the writing that made me space out, but overall I was really happy with it. The voice acting in the game is shaky for me though, with some lines being delivered perfect and some that kind of felt like they were recorded a few days apart. It really is not a game breaker, but messed the flow of the game up for me just a little bit and pulled me out. There were also some repeated lines in some of the dialogue, but I also was playing a pre-released version, and I'm sure that with the last update before release, this has been cleared up. The mechanics, they're exactly what you would expect from a point-and-click game, and seems to run smoothly. With other point-and-click games, I've kind of had this criticism of the camera being slower than the characters, and this is not an issue in this game, whether you're walking or running. The camera kept good pace for most sections. The only struggle the camera gave me was in tight sections, when the camera is close to you and it kind of makes it hard to traverse the area and makes you have that stop and go syndrome that always bothers me. This is not really rampant in the game, but this is just something I do like to point out for future developing uh, point and click games to see if maybe they can fix this. This wouldn't be a point and click game without some puzzles, and the puzzles in this game are tough, and you sometimes really need to be attentive when talking to characters or searching the area for items and clues. Luckily though, they did add a button to uh, see the surroundings and find what objects can be inspected, picked up, or looked at. Another great design to the puzzles is that they can be solved in many different ways. From what I can tell, for a good portion of them, there's at least two ways to solve each puzzle, which is nice and gives you a chance to replay the game to go back and get some of the achievements for solving them in that other way. All in all, the puzzles were well thought out and elaborate. Most would make you stop and think, except for the near ending of the game. The puzzles in the end were honestly the weakest of the bunch and sadly felt like a section of the game was kind of missing and it wrapped up really quickly. The ending cutscene was great and alluded to a sequel, which I'm excited to see it released, but I don't know, it, it felt like there was supposed to be a development there, but I guess maybe crunch time came in and they just cut it. I don't know, it seems like it just wrapped up way too quickly and I don't know, it just seemed off to me. So. All in all, the pros of the game, 
great puzzles that require a good amount of forward thinking. There's multiple ways to complete puzzles. The artwork, the world building, and characters are charming and likable. And of course, the biggest pro of them all is that there is a possible sequel. Now, the cons of this game is the voice acting is weak in some areas. I feel like some of these things, again, have just been recorded days apart. Some dialogue can be boring, and again, with the repeating dialogue, hopefully that's been changed, but some of the dialogue is boring, and you'll probably just want to skip through that. And finally, the last con is the ending does seem to be rushed. Um, I don't know if there's a possible DLC, or if they're looking into possibly uh, kind of connecting these two with a sequel. I'm not 100% sure, it just felt really bum rushed at the end and I wish there was just a slower pace kind of like how the beginning of the game and the middle of the game were. So I recommend the game for people who do love point and click games and I think this is a good intermediate game for people who want to try out a point and click if they've never played one or kind of dabbled a little bit. So if you guys are interested I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well as a link to the discord if you want to come and chat. Thanks guys for watching this video all the way to the end. If you liked the video, please leave a like. Kind of lets us know if I'm, kind of lets us, kind of lets me know if I'm doing something right. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We're always going to try to keep up to date with all the new indie games that are coming out and you don't want to miss out. So like always guys, I'll see you in the next video and have fun.